Today we are going on a tour of the Mekong River Delta in Vietnam. So excited for today, we've got lots of things planned. We're going cycling. We're going to go on a boat and also do some rowing down some of the small canals and try out some local food. So let's get going. <laughs> We have arrived at the Mekong River Delta, which is about two hours from Saigon. And for our first stop, we're going to go on a bike ride through different villages and coconut plantations. Let's go grab our helmets and our bikes and let's get started. We've just stopped here to have a look at how they build the local huts in the area. So they use the palm fronds, they're dried, and they actually make roofs out of them. So yeah, pretty interesting to see how the locals live in this area. We're just riding through a little village at the moment in amongst all the coconut palms. Quite a cute little village, some kids running around on the streets, a few more restaurants and shops. Yeah, a lovely bike ride. We are here at this temple, which is a Vietnamese traditional temple after the religion Cao Dai, which was created in 1926. So we are going to go check out inside. There's a symbol that is worshipped by this religion, which is the left eye, and that signifies that God in the sky knows all and sees all that you do. So that is kind of what is worshipped in this religion. We're just walking through this cute little market selling all sorts of fruit, vegetables, meat, whatever you need in your kitchen. It's a bit narrow to drag your bike through, but a very nice and very local provincial market. So, pretty cool experience. I'm trying some longan. Whoa, it's juicy. Very sweet, very fresh. <laughs> there are two kinds. One is so pink, another one is so white. It's the apple. The inside is a bit gooey but very, very sweet. Hello. So we're just tasting a star apple and it has literally brought me back to my childhood. It tastes a lot like a custard apple. That is something that we do get in Australia. It has a sweet flavour but it has like a custard texture. This one, you know? Dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. <laughs> It's good, right? Really fresh, yeah. Really, really beautiful, really fresh. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going well to the toilet tonight. We are. Mmm. <laughs> Dragon fruit. So much fruit, oh my god. So the Ben Tre area is actually known for its coconut palm plantations as well as all of its exotic fruit. Mm. Look at that. Mmm. Just having a rambutan right now. It's a bit tangier, it's not as sweet as the longan. And just good though. Mm. So the question is, does size matter? <laughs> you want to taste? <laughs> Can we move mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, I'll have one more. Okay, okay. I think that could be the best banana that I've ever had. Tiny but tasty. Tiny but tasty, yeah. Mm. <sighs> smells so good. Definitely smells like Asia. <sighs> I love lemongrass. Mm. It's a cute poppy. So I'm not sure if it's a pet or part of the market. Mango's always yummy. <laughs> what do you think, Ella? Mm. Very good. The fruit is so fresh, so delicious. Basically straight off the tree and into our mouths. Very yummy, good. yummy, yummy. Yeah, very good tasting experience. <laughs> so after tasting a lot of fruit at the local market, we are on our bikes again, heading out of the little village at the moment, past a lot of banana plants and coconut trees. Yes, yeah, so a cute little houses as well with front gardens. It's a pretty narrow little path we are on at the moment, but still motorbikes and cars going past here. Oh my God, that pig is huge. That was my pig, I'll name it Mr. Bacon. It's so nice to see how the locals live and just see local Vietnamese life. It's just very peaceful, so nice through all the coconut groves. Very relaxing. It is very relaxing, yeah. And in between all the coconut trees, you see little canals and there's a few little houses in between. It's pretty nice just cruising along here. We just got invited into this family here along the road. They have a small farm where they grow pomelos and coconuts. We're on our way to do some pomelo harvesting at the moment. 
chan vụt nào sau ít mình cắt ăn trái thôi nha dạ dạ trái nữa đủ rồi đừng có khê this is what the pomelo looks like on the inside really fresh a little bit tangy but yeah really nice <cười> Okay. Mm. So good. Oh, khỏi chơi luôn. Cho nó uống mặt vậy đó. Oh. Delicious. Cheers. 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 So we're just struggling to drink out of the fresh coconut and then our guide, after we were struggling with it, decides to bring out a straw. So, yeah, much easier to drink the coconut with the straw. Yes, yeah, he just wanted to see how we were going without a straw. <laughs> it's really nice driving along here. It looks so cool with all the coconut palms along the sides of the road. It looks like someone has been harvesting the coconuts along the road here. You can see them lying along the edges of the road. Certainly get a very countryside feeling driving along here. Carly and Ella, they decided to kind of live life on the edge. <laughs> I'm playing it safe, consider we're standing under, I don't know how many coconuts, so I'm keeping my bike helmet on. I would say there's probably about a hundred or so coconuts right above us. And they do say that more people die of hit, getting hit by a coconut than in they a do car, in a of, car crash. Oh, I was gonna say. No, from a snake bite. I was gonna say sharks. Oh. <laughs> Is that, it a car crash? No, no, no. Anyway, not. one of those. <laughs> it's dangerous. That, that's what we're trying yeah, to say. That, yeah, that's the point. Good. Mm. It's really crispy. Mm. It's almost like a sweet poppadom. So it's made from coconut milk, rice flour, and sesame seeds, sesame. and sugar. Mm. Yummy. If you're having a bad day, you just need to like hang Am out with this guy. He will make your day amazing. He's just in the best spirits and the best mood. So enthusiastic. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's only keeping up the spirit. Good mood, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello! We have just been served a massive feast. We've got crispy pork of some sort here, vegetables, we have fried fish, some type of cabbage and carrot, soup, soup shredded chicken, beans, some type of chili sauce and also rice. It looks absolutely delicious so I'm can't so wait to get into it. Yes. yes. Try. <laughs> Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's okay. been an excellent Happy. tour. <laughs> okay. See you. Bye bye. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Our guide just said that we're going on a horse car. I'm not sure what a horse car is. Is it like a carriage and a horse? Uh, is it a car shaped like a horse? <laughs> so it's certainly a horse. I wasn't actually sure if it was going to be a horse. Very excited to ride on this. I didn't expect that, so that's a bit different getting down to the uh, Mekong River for our boat tour this way here. Before getting on our boat, we stopped in at a coconut candy factory. It was really interesting to see how they make it, starting from the fresh coconut. And then we have a coconut shell. You can see the meat inside is the white. It's still hot, but it has the consistency of a really soft caramel. 
for the coconut flavor. We have just arrived at the mighty Mekong River and we're just about to take a boat ride. This should be fun just to have a little bit of a look at river life. It's crazy to think that this river flows through six different countries. So we are in the Mekong River Delta at the moment. And at this point, the Mekong River is actually split into nine different tributaries. And even so, the one we are cruising on at the moment is probably about a kilometer wide. So pretty massive river system, very impressive. We've just arrived to a small island here in the middle of the Mekong Delta. I can hear some folk music playing at the moment. Looks like they're serving fresh fruit. So I'm going to try some jackfruit for the first time. <laughs> the first bite I was like no. As I ate it, it was like yes. And the more that I eat it, it's like no. <laughs> so what's the verdict? I think it's a no. It actually has a little bit of a similarity to durian. Um, yeah, no, I don't like it. That's better. Jackfruit is the most random fruit ever. It looks too big to be growing on trees. Look at it, absolutely massive. You wouldn't want that falling on your head and it's spiky too. And we have dragon fruit which is another random fruit. Why is there fruit growing on a cactus? It's not normal. It's not normal, I guess it is. And another weird fruit slash vegetable, I don't even know what it is, that we just came across, is hanging on a vine. It does not look like it should be hanging on a vine because it's, oh, it's really spiky, but it's really heavy too. It almost looks like a vineyard. If you know what that is, drop it down in the comments below. So we are gonna take a rowboat now so that we can go down some of the smaller canals of the Mekong River. Pretty excited, it looks really nice. So yeah, really interested to do this. So we are currently going on a ride in one of the rowing boats here in one of the small canals. These canals are crisscrossing one of the islands that's in the middle of the Mekong River. It's a really cool way to get around the island and it's also really scenic with all the water coconut palms on the sides. For a little canal, it's really busy. There's lots and lots of different rowboats going each way, but it's really cool in here. We had such an amazing time here in the Mekong River Delta today. And we definitely recommend doing this tour from Saigon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Okay, that's it for this one. We'll see you next time on Living, Living the, the Joe Life. <laughs> Oh, the dragon fruit. Oh, oh, I just burped up jackfruit. Nasty. <laughs> actually, it ah. actually gives off durian vibes, like with the oniony. A little taste. bit oniony when you breathe out. It's kind of strange, actually. You drink some water now. Okay. Oh, you're recording? <laughs> yeah, I am. Oh. Yes.